Hi, welcome to the Paya booth. Wish we could be doing this face-to-face -face live, but uh, unfortunately circumstances say that we can't do that. But uh, I'm Andy, by the way, and uh, I'm here with Oliver and Jameson, and we'll be talking to you about suction cups and packaging applications. First up, let's get started with Jameson. Right, hey everybody, I'm, I'm Jameson and um, I'm going to be taking us through these BX cups and a number of their design features um, specific to the packaging industry. As mentioned previously, uh, the BX cups were designed with a number of features uh, suited to the packing industry specifically. Um, it might be easier to go through these features with an example here. Um, this is one of our single bellow BX cups, it's a BX one, uh, B110XP. Um, you can clearly see here, this is a dual durometer design. There is a PU30 lip, the yellow here. It is nice, soft, and conformable. And this allows you to seal around any sort of surface irregularities or anything like that. Um, especially with the packing, packaging industry, um, sealing over any sort of corrugated material. Um, this nice, soft lip absolutely helps with that. Um, and the green here, the body and the bellow of the cup, it is a 60 uh, short A durometer. Um, Again, polyurethane. <clears throat> this uh, 60 shore material, it's much harder, obviously, than the 30 shore lip. Um, it provides a lot of stability um, once the cup is collapsed for any sort of movement um, with the product being picked on the end of arm tool or whatever, what have you. In addition to the long cup life, um, I'd like to make note that the recommended application temperature for this Duraflex material is above room temperature, anywhere from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, for applications outside of this temperature range, be it uh, f freezing um, or low temperature applications, high temperature applications, uh, we offer other cups that are well suited to these applications that are not at room temperature. Um, in, in addition to round cups of all sizes, um, we do also offer rectangular and square cups here. Um, for example, the RBL 60 by 60. This is a multi bellow 60 um, millimeter square cup. Um, a couple of features, are, one being the, um, the bellow support here, which serves two purposes. The first being um, it offers more stability when the cup is collapsed under vacuum, um, as well as offering some resistance to any sort of shear forces as the product is attached to the cup and you know, moving above. First, the larger box here, uh, right across the seam. Nice and easy pig, you can see the cup is completely collapsed here. Now for the smaller box, first cork in itself. Again, nice easy pig, cup is completely collapsed. Um, one thing to note with this seam here is there is a bit of a gap comparatively. Um, this is compared to this box here, but right across the seam. Nice easy pick. And now we're onto this nice beat up piece of corrugate right here. Um, Likely, say, from a slip sheet that's been used a couple of times. Um, but you can see a nice central uh, corrugate seam right above uh, this portion of the, the cardboard here. We're going to pick it right across that. Again, the cup is completely collapsed, holding it in shear, no problem. All right, and now walking through the very similar demonstration, however, this time using an oval cup, uh, 35 millimeter wide by 90 millimeter long, again, dual durometer with a nice soft lip. No problem making these traditional picks, you know, on boxes. Again, use this beat up flip sheet. Yeah, picking right across that seam. Cup is completely collapsed. Um, you can actually see the profile here of the cup conforming around that edge, around that seam rather. All right, and now for a less traditional uh, packaging type, um, these opal cups are also you know, easily applied to tubes like this. Great, thank you for that, Jameson. Uh, it's really important to see that the design parameters of the suction cups and how they, uh, how they apply to very specific examples. 
uh, we're going to see a little bit more of that next with Oliver. Hello everyone. Welcome to uh, the Pack Expo Connects live demo focusing on bag handling cups. Here I have a selection in front of me that we'll go over today. So here's a close up of the suction cups. We start with our traditional bag cups. Uh, the standard BL, the BL-4, the BL-5, the BL-3. Then we'll look at our pie grip bag lip suction cups. Uh, pie grip, as you may know, is, is very configurable, so different bellow configurations, lip sizes, and fitting options. Uh, and then last, we'll look at the thin film cups or, or bag opening. Uh, these have a little bit different design um, for handling products very, very flat. So we'll take a look at that today. All right, so for the first demo showing uh, Pyep's bag cups, we have two products here, a bag of frozen strawberries and a frozen burrito. The product that we would ideally use to handle these are our BL-5 series. So the, the design features of this are interlocking bellows and a thin wispy lip. We have it uh, paired up with two VGS SX-12s. So here, really thin, wispy bags. So hopefully, we can demonstrate that this works well. Not moving too fast because I don't want to drop it. All right, so up next, we have these two products, uh, just kind of some more traditional bags that wouldn't be in a refrigerated environment. Um, a long-lasting, durable solution for this application would be Pyev's BL-3 model. Um, similar to our other Duraflex cups, we have a 30 shore lip, uh, but the difference with this is we have uh, four 70 shore bellows. That's gonna give uh, good stability at high speeds. So we can set up here. So next, the products we're looking at are more of the larger, heavier bags. Um, here we have some pistachios and some Skittles. So the pie product we're going to feature today is the uh, Pie Grip Bag Lip. And if you look at the design, uh, we have, I believe it's 70 Shore bellows with a thin um, 50 durometer lip. This will allow you know good uh, conformance to the product, but then also give you stability at um, high speeds. So here, show it in action. So shifting gears a little bit, now we're going to look at the thin films or um, bag opening style of cups. Here we have some examples, um, U15-3, the U20, uh, F26, and then here I have attached to a VGS 2010, the F33. So the design specs that these cups employ um, is a thin lip, but uh, a, a flat support. So it's really good for when you have like a, a sensitive product that high vacuum levels would, would mar or mark. So for the products I have a um, just a little calendar that's been shrink wrapped and then a little flat bag that actually has uh, some face masks rightfully uh, you know timed. So again this style cup holds the product very flat and won't mark at all. So just to show you guys, take a look at that. No marking. So again, F26 and a VGS 2010. Thanks, Oliver. To continue on, I'm actually going to present something that's a little bit different than what we've spoken about. Uh, we're going to show you a new product that I think you'll be very excited to see. So we spent some time here already talking about uh, our suction cups and how they're engineered to perform uh, optimally in specific applications. 
I'm going to go a little different direction here and show a new design that we call the MX Cup. The MX Cup is a multi-use cup with extreme performance capabilities. Uh, that's where we get the MX designation. And we here, you know, PIAB has been, have been involved with a lot of different applications where there's a wide array of different items that need to be picked with the single end effector. Uh, meaning that the cups need to operate over a very wide assortment of objects. This new cup is constructed of our Duraflex material, like the BXP series, and has multiple durometers. You can see it has a very soft, thin lip for conformance with the harder bellows for stability. It uses the support from the pie grip line, which means that it's available with all of the different fitting options from the pie grip family. An initial release later this quarter is going to include the three sizes you see here, 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and 65 millimeter. Early next year, that will be followed by a more formal introduction of the entire family, which will add a 42 millimeter and a 52 millimeter for a total of five sizes. So let's stop talking about it and show you what it can do. So on standard packaging applications, it's pretty much a, a no-brainer. A standard box, very easy. On the tape as well. A standard bag, bag handling, again, very, very easy. Even the really worst case corrugated, which is deeply seamed and, and dimples, and, uh, you know, again, handles that very, very well. No worries there either. So this is another uh, grouping of common packaging items that, uh, that we would see, uh, whether it's a paper-based, a plastic-based with a little bit of texture, uh, or a, a sealed mailer like this uh, with some wrinkles and such in it. Uh, again, very, very solid grip on something that's not smooth. Uh, you can grip this in, in any orientation, uh, on the label, off the label. Uh, even across the seam if, if it exists. And this particular one, you can see it's got very uh, wrinkled appearance, so it's very easy to grab it on the smooth side. That we know we can do. Uh, but with this cup, it's especially impressive with how it can grab uh, in those wrinkles and in those seams. Here we have some more, we'll say, challenging products uh, that we deal with uh, quite a bit. Uh, this is an example uh, of a case or a tray that has uh, shrink wrap on it. You can see it's open on the ends there. Uh, it's loose on the top, so it's not very tight. Uh, the cup, again, performs very, very well to grab that and hang on to it. I've even done it on the side where the seam is. Also gets a very excellent grip. Here again, another very thin material with no real structure to it. Uh, picks it up with ease. Uh, another similar uh, package here. And this, I mean, this is ridiculously loose with how this is packaged. And again, the cup has no problem getting in there and grabbing that. So I, I have some randomly selected items here that, uh, that I feel this cup does really well on. Maybe not necessarily within the packaging industry, but to show its capabilities. Uh, this is a piece of wood, as you can see. It's very rough uh, on this surface, so it's not polished and not smooth. Again, you can see very solid grip there. Uh, we have a rock here, which is definitely not a smooth surface. There's cutouts and, and chips in there. And even at the worst, I can get a very solid grasp to that rock as well. So that's not to say that we don't have other cups that can handle these. We can handle these objects with foam lips or Kinos units. Uh, we can certainly do that. But those units would not be able to handle the variety of objects that this cup can. This is just a piece of packing material. Again, very rough surface, very convoluted. This cup has no problem sitting in there, and even on the convolution, sitting in there and, and gripping that product. This is just a random nylon bag that I picked up with a piece, uh, piece of wood in it. You know, again, look at that. No problems whatsoever. 